talk about what I don't like about this first because it's a pretty short list. Now my main complaint on this impact wrench is going to be the weight. It is heavy. You might notice that this is a 12 amp hour battery. Don't buy the 12 amp, the 12 amp hour battery unless you know that you need it. I'm gonna tell you right now, this adds a lot of weight to an already heavy system. The reason that I have this is because I bought, or I had the five amp hour battery and I had to warranty it. Well, while it was out for warranty, I had to go buy another battery. So I only own these two batteries for this. I thought, okay, I'll get the 12 amp hour. It's gonna last really long and maybe it will give me increased power. And we're gonna get to that. That's my next point that I don't like is the, about the power. But the truth is this just sits in my toolbox. I never use it. It's too heavy. This, last, this battery lasts forever. It lasts so long. Like how, okay, it's halfway gone right now this battery lasts so long. I imagine for most people, the five amp hour battery is easily gonna last you a full day of work minimum. Two five amp hour batteries will, you, will do you just fine. The main reason to get a, tw a 12 amp hour battery is gonna be for bigger equipment. That's my opinion. You don't really need it for this impact wrench. Let's say that this did give you an increase in power. That's gonna be point number two that I don't like about this. It's too powerful. That's that's the main thing is that it's easy to rip bolts off and rip nut, nuts off. You do have these little settings right here. Typically, I'm just gonna be on three. And this setting right here, this is for if you wanna take lug nuts off and don't wanna strip them, or if you're, if it's for removing nuts. This is not gonna save you when you're putting stuff back on. And people in the comments might say, oh, well, don't ever use an impact wrench for installing nuts and bolts. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use an impact wrench, for, impact wrench for installing nuts and bolts. It's better, it's faster, but you can't be a goon. And I only own it, I only own this one. I don't even have the smaller impact wrenches. I think the smaller impact wrenches are great, but I get by. The third thing that I don't really like about this is that it's not user serviceable to take, like taking this head off to re-grease what's going on in here, it's not user serviceable. I don't remember the name of the channel right now off the top of my head, but I'll link the video down below where this impact is compared against a snap-on and I don't even remember what he said he liked at the end. I'm pretty sure he went with the Milwaukee as his favorite, but what I did like about the snap-on is that it was user serviceable. You could take this part off and grease the insides. That makes for a long lasting tool. And that's basically it. I can't really, I can't think of any other cons to buying this. It's expensive. I think I paid, it's been a couple years. I think I paid like 300 bucks for the tool only. And then it's a hundred bucks for the, for the battery or something like that. Don't quote me on the prices. Modern prices are gonna be whatever they are. You just gotta check the links, but it was not cheap when I bought it. You have to be able to justify this. I think if you own a pickup truck, you can probably justify this. That just that, the first time you, you have a flat tire and you need to take the lug nuts off of your truck and you just wah, 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 just zip them right off, you're gonna be so happy. You will be so happy that you spent the money on the impact wrench. And if you're working at a shop, forget about it. Like you have to have this in my opinion. If you're just, just starting and you don't know if you're going to be a mechanic, maybe hold off on buying the impact. I'm going to say you, I, it's, it's hard to regret buying this. It's hard to, re I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. It's hard to imagine a scenario where somebody would regret buying. So yes, it is expensive. That, that is Probably the main pain point for me is the price. Especially, man, you look at look at the price of this battery and this battery and whatever this is going for. And then I don't even use this battery. That's that's kind of a sad, that's a sad thing to talk about for me. But overall, I'm just gonna spoil it for you. I really like this impact. Let's get into the pros of it. It is powerful. This is 
very, very powerful. Countless times I've been called out to jobs where people could not remove nuts and bolts and then I use this to just zip it right off. Whether it's something really big like on a semi truck or a piece of farm equipment or whatever and it is durable. Like right here, you can see how much I've just scraped, scraped the side of it and the rubber has just worn away because I work on concrete a lot of times uh, and I just, you know, I have to slide this thing around and it's got the rubber starting to come out a little bit down here. But I'll tell you what, this thing's under warranty and if this handle starts coming all the way apart, I will warranty it and I'm pretty sure that Milwaukee will be fine because when I went to warranty my battery, the process is all online. I called though, and somebody at somebody over the phone helped me on my computer to figure it out because I'm like a senior citizen and I have trouble with these things. So I just called and got help and they were very helpful. And I wanna say it was an American, I live in America, so that's kind of important to me and to some people because I have trouble understanding uh, foreign accents and it's, and it's very frustrating when I can't understand what somebody's saying and their whole job is to help me, you know, with, with this expensive piece of equipment that I paid a lot, I paid a lot of money right here. You can look up the prices, check the links and you'll see these things are expensive. So it's nice having having a very durable tool with a good warranty because even though the batteries like these batteries are known for being very durable i was very surprised that my battery burned out uh but the warranty process was pretty painless and it was quick enough i think it took like three weeks i don't know i like this little setting right here for taking lug nuts off if i'm not sure if i'm just i'm if i'm worried about breaking something this will kind of go t -t 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 and it won't, I don't know. I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. Sorry, is that the noise that an impact wrench makes? Let's move on. It, you saw it right there. There's this little, little flashlight right there. The light can help whenever you're trying to stick this thing up in dark places. It's usually pointing in the right direction. And then also with these batteries, if you get, if you get the M18 red lithium or whatever, it has, this little uh, this little meter right here tells me like I'm half full on this battery. That's very convenient. So this is one of my most used tools and I cannot give it any higher praise. This thing has been boringly reliable. It feels ergonomic enough when I'm holding it. It is heavy. It's not too heavy. It is heavy, but it feels, it feels nice. It feels real nice. So to sum it up guys, it is expensive, but I, I looked around, I don't think there's any more, I don't think there's a better value out there as far as dollars spent to performance. If you're interested in getting any of these things in the background or buying this impact wrench, go ahead and check the links down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye up the hill guys.